this morning to talk more about the problem here in Kern County and these investigations is Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry. Uh, Chief, uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Do appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's just start with uh, having you describe the issue of human trafficking in Kern County. A lot of people have been talking about this for years, have been wondering what's being done to curb human trafficking in our city. Can you just describe the problem here locally? Yes, Alex, it, and thank you for raising the issue. It is a problem here locally. You know, human trafficking is a horrible form of abuse. Those who are engaging in it or trafficking in it really target the most vulnerable uh, residents that we have. Children, adults, those that have suffered abuse, have addictions and or mental illness. And they, they create it in such a way or they do it in such a way that these victims become totally dependent on them for their survival. Uh, and so when they do come in contact with law enforcement, that's one of the most significant challenges that we have is being able to connect with these victims because we often come across them engaged in some other type of criminal activity and then trying to find out what the connection is and what's really going on can be really challenging for us and sometimes requires that these investigations take such a long time. Just last month we saw what happened at the Desert Star Motel. Um, you and other agencies talked about how long this investigation uh, has, has been going on for. It's been going on for, for more than a year, or nearly two years. Um, can you just talk a little bit about how difficult it is or uh, just the process of what has to take place before uh, these type of arrests happen? Well, over, over the last several years, there were numerous arrests during the course of this investigation. Um, there were cases made and people were arrested, but we really wanted to try to get to the root cause of, of the issue at this location and trying to get information from those that were engaging in prostitution, both the prostitutes themselves or those that were contacted in the acts of prostitution, trying to find out, okay, why are they there at this location? Uh, and it took quite a long time to get to the root cause of the issue at this location and resulted in the arrest of the owner and the operations manager. Um, this really took a, a partnership with our local, state, rate, regional, and federal partners because there were numerous uh, investigations and arrests along the way over the last two years, both locally and in other areas that were directly related to this case as well. But um, that's really uh, what took so long is trying to get to the root cause and to eliminate that at this location in our community. Cynthia Zimmer, our Kern County District Attorney, called this uh, the, the Desert Star Motel and, and the operation. She called this as a modern day brothel. Why is this specific location um, so, so high profile? What was so significant about this specific location? And do you think that there are other locations uh, in, in Bakersfield that may be uh, have a similar situation. I mean, you, you've even said before, uh, just last month, that this investigation is not over yet. That's correct. It was operating like a, a modern day brothel. There, there were prostitutes there. There were uh, individuals coming and engaging in prostitution or acts of prostitution there. And you're right, it is not the only location. Um, this investigation is ongoing. There are other locations where we believe this type of activity is occurring. Um, and you know, in this particular area of our city, unfortunately, has uh, historically been where uh, a lot of this type, act, type of activity uh, occurs. And like I said, part of the reason it becomes so uh, uh, prolific there is because many of those that are uh, engaged in prostitution, not all of them, but many of them are there are true victims uh, where they're trapped in this lifestyle. And so uh, the, the, the nature of the lodging there uh, and some of the way the structures are built, it just makes it uh, ideal for this type of activity to sort of happen uh, in plain sight. And so, like I said, one of the challenges for us is to really connect with uh, the prostitutes themselves. And we've really changed our approach over the last several years to become more victim-centered and trying to get services to them, trying to address this in a different way so that we can have a true picture of what's going on and rescue them and prevent this from occurring. The investigations are ongoing and we are continuing to be committed to working with all of our partners to eradicate this from our city. Should we expect more types of these investigations and arrests in the coming weeks and months? 
the investigations are ongoing. Specific timelines I couldn't speak to, but there is more activity going on and the community can expect to see more of this type of activity. Okay, and, and we just want to remind everyone um, uh, of the numbers and the resources uh, that people can use. I want to just go over the National Human Trafficking Hotline. That number is 1-888-373-7888. You can also text 233733 and you can report missing children or child sexual abuse material to the Bakersfield Police Department. Their number, of course, is 327-7111. Uh, Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry, as always, thanks so much for joining us this morning to talk about this issue. I know it's a, it is an ongoing issue, and a lot of people have so many questions about what is being done to curb human, tra human trafficking in our community. So I do appreciate you uh, giving us an update this morning. Take care. Thank you.